Hello everyone. Some bridges are very old, very narrow or very high, but this doesn't matter, as many of them are worldwide tourist destinations and attract travellers from all over the world, and the more dangerous, tall and old they are, the better. In many cases, it's necessary for locals to cross these bridges, while extreme sports enthusiasts are driven by the desire to have an adrenaline rush. Today, we'll tell you about the bridges that will scare you to death just by looking at them. Here we have the 10 most incredible bridges in the world. Let's get it on. Trift Bridge one of the most dangerous bridges in the world is located in the Swiss city of Bern. It was built relatively recently in 2004 on the initiative of a major energy company, which carried out work on the Trift Glacier. Five years later, the first reconstruction of the bridge was carried out. Initially, one of the main problems of the structure was its immense mobility. The wind made the bridge swing strongly, making the passage across the bridge a truly deadly and dangerous deed. But despite the reconstruction, this characteristic of the bridge was preserved. The Trift Bridge remains the most dangerous and highest suspension bridge in Europe. Its width is about 3 feet, and its length is 560 feet. Nowadays, it's a very interesting attraction for tourists. But the walks on the bridge are only possible in quiet and windless weather. If you dare to climb this fragile bridge, you can enjoy an elegant panoramic view of the lake and Italy, which is situated nearby. Capilano Located in the vicinity of Vancouver, the Capilano Bridge is considered one of the most extreme and one of the most attractive bridges on the planet. It crosses a river and is located in a natural area of great beauty, surrounded by evergreen forests. The bridge, which tourists in search of emotions can cross, was opened in 1956. Its length is 460 feet, and the design itself is absolutely safe and can support the weight of 96 elephants at a time. <laughs> But despite the guarantee of absolute safety, crossing the bridge requires great caution because it's situated at an incredible height and swings remarkably when walking. If you're one of those who fears heights, even a few seconds on the bridge can make you feel dizzy and panic. It should also be noted that the Capilano Bridge is privately owned, so you've got to pay to pass through it. Annually, around 900,000 tourists visit this tourist attraction. And next to the bridge in the National Park, there are many attractions and entertainments in case you need more excitement after walking the bridge. Husseini this bridge, located in Pakistan and called Husseini, is an interesting place for extreme entertainment enthusiasts. The problem is that this area is characterized by windy weather, and therefore the bridge, built with fine ropes and boards, is gradually disappearing. The Husseini Bridge is very old. Even the locals don't remember the exact date of its construction. During years of use, many boards have fallen and gaps between the remaining parts of the structure have become quite significant. Because of the huge holes in the icy wind that literally doesn't stop blowing for a minute, crossing the Hunza River along this bridge is an incredibly dangerous task. The Husseini Bridge is located near the village of the same name, and according to local residents' memories, at least 10 people have died on it. Carrick Areed Located in the British county of Antrim, the Carrick Areed Bridge has long been one of the region's most popular attractions. The bridge connects the rest of Ireland to the small island of Carrick, which for a long time attracted local fishermen. It was them who built this bridge so that they could easily reach the island during the salmon migration and engage in fishing. The wobbly rope bridge was only open to the bravest people. A clumsy movement could make you lose your balance and cost you your life. But over time, the fishing areas were used up and the bridge became unnecessary. However, several years ago, it won the contest for Northern Ireland's most extreme attractions, and a large amount of money was allocated for its reconstruction. Although the bridge was reinforced and completed with wooden beams, it's still incredibly unstable and movable. Each year, more than 250,000 tourists visit the building to test their nerves and pay a little money, as the entrance to the bridge cost about £5. Ojuela. One of the most dangerous and mysterious bridges on the planet is the Ojuela Bridge, located in Mexico. The construction of the structure through the Deep Canyon began in 1898, and it served as the shortest pass to the city. 
where active extraction of precious metals and other minerals was carried out. After the construction was completed, the Ahoyla Bridge remained one of the longest suspension bridges in the world for many years. It stood out for its high strength. To reinforce its structure, the developers used steel ropes, which at the end of the 19th century was an innovation. The bridge was actively used by the workers, and when there were no minerals left, it fell into disrepair and was abandoned. Today, this high-altitude bridge is attractive for extreme sports lovers. The passage through it gives a feeling of weightlessness, all thanks to the open design of the bridge and its impressive height. Pointed rocks on all sides add fear, so adrenaline accelerates as you walk across the bridge. And this place is also very popular among photographers, as the bridge offers a magnificent view of the canyon. Monkey Bridges in southern Vietnam, in several areas of the Mekong River Delta, very unusual installations are located. In appearance, they don't look too much like classical bridges, so they were given the unusual name Monkey Bridges. Contrary to the widespread misconception that they're only suitable for monkey movement, bridges have helped local residents for many years. Thick bamboo stems were used for the construction of these structures, which were fastened with ropes. To safely overcome one of the monkey bridges, the person has to bend over, resembling monkey. Monkeys. Between these bridges, there are short and long, rather high and low ones, and the only thing they have in common is their peculiar shape. This type of bridge can be destroyed at any time, so it's necessary to wear comfortable shoes with rubber soles. Despite all the weaknesses of this type of crossing, the opportunity to swim in the murky waters of the river doesn't repel tourists at all, but only makes it more exciting. U-Pain more than 150 years ago, Myanmar residents built a bridge called Yupain to cross Lake Tontome. This structure is very different from other suspension and rope bridges in other countries of the world. One of the important design features is the lack of handrails, which makes crossing over incredibly dangerous. The height of the bridge is more than twice the height of a person, so falling to the bottom of the lake covered with sharp stones can become a tragedy. It seems that the locals don't bother with so much danger. They move across the bridge with huge loads and even bicycles. The length of this unique bridge, used daily by hundreds of people, is about 3,940 feet. And of course, like any dangerous object, the bridge is incredibly popular among tourists. Therefore, travelers who want to take spectacular pictures of this construction should visit this place. Gasa. Located in Nepal, the Gasa Bridge is one of those structures that just takes your breath away just by looking at it. It's located not far from the village of the same name and is used to transport not only people but also livestock. For local residents, animal husbandry has been the main livelihood for many years, so the large number of domestic animals has led them to build a bridge. The narrow construction is placed at an enormous height and is also quite sensitive to the gusts of wind that occur here frequently. Over time, the passage over the Pendulum Bridge has become a common practice for indigenous people, but not all travelers dare to repeat it. But even though the bridge seems rather fragile and swings a lot, it's very safe and is equipped with high handrails. Kiswachaka Bridge This bridge, with a name unusual for many travelers, is known under a different name, the Rope Bridge of the Incas. For the first time, these bridges were built during the reign of the Inca Empire. The secret of the durability and strength of the bridges is very simple. They were built using the strongest vines and sticks that were used to make ropes. But despite the fact that before there were even special people who monitored the state of the constructions, the only rope bridge has survived in Peru which is 118 feet long and passes 220 feet over the Aparimac River. It's still actively used by local residents, and every year in June they carefully repair the bridge. For them, the passage along the old structure has become a common routine, while for tourists it's literally a deadly danger. It is necessary to move very carefully along the rope bridge so that it doesn't move. The thick strings of the vine instead of the railings serve more for moral support than for actual support. If you lose your balance, staying on the bridge won't be so easy. But when do the danger stop extreme sports fans? Never. Therefore, Kiswachaka is a tempting attraction for travelers who want to experiment unforgettable emotions. Glass Bridge and finally, we'll show you the most incredible and scary bridge on our list. In the Chinese province of Hunan, a glass bridge was opened, considered the longest bridge of its kind. 
The 1,410 foot long pedestrian bridge is built at an altitude of 980 feet and connects two mountainous cliffs in Jiangjiajie National Park where the film Avatar was filmed. The bridge is 20 feet wide and the construction of the structure cost $3.4 million. The bridge floor consists of 99 transparent plates made of three layer glass, characterized by their incredible strength. In general, glass bridges are very popular in China because of the opportunity to take interesting panoramic photos. They're also used for yoga classes and newlyweds like to do wedding photo sessions on these bridges. And you know what? All these people probably have nerves of steel because they're on a completely transparent bridge and not everyone can see an abyss. Well, we certainly couldn't. Now tell us friends, have you ever had an opportunity to visit one of these bridges? Tell us in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like.